Hello, my name is William Rhodes. I am one of the founders of an African-American art collective in San Francisco called 3.9. Uh, 3.9 members uh, are currently in this exhibition at the African-American Art and Cultural Complex. The name of the exhibition is The Exodus, The Migration, and The Stand. The 3.9 uh, African-American Art Collective, the reason why we uh, came together uh, we, as a group of African-American artists, started to do more research and, and found out that the population of San Francisco has dropped from 16% back in the 1970s and 80s, and now it's down to 3.9. Hence, that's where we actually coined the phrase 3.9 as far as the name of the collective. So, uh, as a group of artists, pretty much our mission is to deal with these issues of the declining black population, pretty much talk about that issue through the medium of art, and we have a variety of different artists, whether it be visual or performing artists or artists that actually write. So we're dealing with those issues and really talking about why the population is declining and um, is this gonna just continue or is this something that could be stopped and reversed in some ways. I'm standing in front of one of my pieces which is entitled The Last Patron Saint of the Bayview. My thoughts around this piece pretty much started when I first moved to San Francisco. I talked to different people and they told me about the declining black population in the city. One of the areas that they told me I should see that kind of has a remnant of the way San Francisco used to be, or parts of the way San Francisco used to be, was the Bayview, Hunter's Point area. So I wanted to go to this area, but I was constantly hearing of negative uh, facts about the Bayview. Uh, a lot of danger, a lot of crime, a lot of bad issues. And when I actually went there, um, I really felt in many ways it was the contrary to that. The figures that are in this piece are pretty much reminiscent of some of the stereotypes that people have of African Americans. Uh, there's an Asian woman in this as well, which she's a victim of these stereotypes because ironically enough, the Bayview, the highest, the largest population in the Bayview is Asian and then African American after that. Uh, so this piece was de is dedicated to this, this, the way San Francisco used to be in reference to the black population. So it's almost like an altar giving homage to, I guess, the remnants of the last uh, saints of, of, of San Francisco. And this saint is holding up his middle finger because in many ways he's really rejecting uh, the issues of, of the gentrification that's happening because the gentrification, it improves the city, but in many ways it's also eliminated the African-American population in the city. This piece is entitled Hip Hop Junkie. And I created this piece um, as a result of moving to San Francisco. And when I started walking around in different neighborhoods, I noticed that there was this graffiti tag that was all over the city. And it was literally hip hop junkie. Uh, somebody had done this, this tag, I meant pretty much in a lot of the neighborhoods in the city. And I started asking about who was this graffiti artist. And someone told me that he was an uh, African American uh, graffiti artist that was living in San Francisco. Within a period of about a year, I noticed it disappeared and I didn't see it anywhere. And I asked, um, was this artist still around? And pretty much they say, well, they think he moved to the East Bay or left the area. So I actually took a photograph of one of the remaining graffiti tags and made a sculpture, a three-dimensional sculpture. And this is my version of the hip hop junkie. I felt like it was really important to do and to preserve this because, you know, this was a well-known graffiti artist that was African-American that lived in the city and pretty much his stuff was tagged over. And I know that's a whole part of the process, how change and evolution happens. And this was a prime example of that. So I pretty much made this sculptural piece as a memorial to that artist that uh, left San Francisco. I'd like to invite anyone that's watching this video to take a look at our uh, website, the website of the collective, which is www.3.9collective.com. And my personal website 
is www.williamrhodesart.com. Thank you. This piece is a mixed media piece, which is called A Shrine of a Forgotten Hero. It's a combination of carved wood, it's metal, and it's cast uh, glass. I actually made a cast glass Afro pick um, for the center piece of this, of this uh, artwork. It's also the shrine of a forgotten hero. The forgotten hero is the Afro pick, which is inside of the box. I thought it was really relevant to make something like this because this was an Afro pick that I found in an antique shop in San Francisco. It's probably from the 1960s or 70s. And to me, it just was a reminder of the past African-American population that used to live here. And then the whole, during the 60s and 70s, was a period of the black pride, where Afros wearing your hair natural, things like that had a, a strong label of pride. Uh, and how that's pretty much changed over the years. So this piece is a reliquary for this forgotten uh, hero, again, the Afro pick. I also wanted to mention that I am currently uh, working on a art show, which is gonna be a solo exhibition that I'm going to be in at the African American Art and Cultural Complex. The name of the show is What is Your Spiritual Evolution? Uh, this is the card. I would love to invite uh, anyone that's watching the video to please come to the exhibition. The opening is October 18th, and it's from 6 until 8 at the African American Art and Cultural Complex, which is at 762 Fulton Street, San Francisco, California, 94102. So please come October 18th. We'd love to have you.